hello everyone how are you all i hope everyone is doing well and everyone is fine so basically the topic is all about the age blending so there are lots of lots of videos about the age blending stuff um, so basically the age blending happens when we have the chroma things and all okay uh, we do have a lot of options for like uh, you know Jackie we we have like um, color smear and a lot of things and definitely there are a lot of techniques to do um, but uh, one thing I got to know um, by uh, my colleague uh, that I didn't know about you know this kind of age blending that can be done um, <clears throat> so it's pretty decent thing that I'm gonna show you today and it, it will be you know very short thing and it will be only the technique that I learned from him and um, that is pretty good I think and I thought let's just share the knowledge uh, with you guys uh, let's get started so basically uh, when we have some sort of uh, you know footages so basically uh, sometimes what we have you know don't have any you know chroma shot like that okay so you do have shots like this okay uh, which is against the sky it could be a brighter sky it could be a dull sky whatever it is it really doesn't matter uh, but what uh, we need to do so basically the director says okay let's just change the background uh, it could be you know it could be anything so basically for this thing you, you know you might have some forest you know uh, behind the particular character okay but uh, the problem is uh, this kind of motion blurry work getting here right now uh, will um, if you say okay uh, we will you know key out this thing and uh, we will you know blend it okay so that's not gonna work uh, perfectly here uh, because there are a lot of things happening here a lot of motion blur happening here a lot of color blending which is also called color bleeding because you know these two color is um, uh, blending together here as well because these are the things which is our semi transparent pixels right so basically the hard edge and uh, the soft edge is different here so uh, this is okay at least like if you uh, use jack uv it might get you know might get fixed but most of the time that doesn't work uh, this in, in this kind of scenario uh if you see like there are a lot of lot of motion blurs like this okay uh, i do have another footage like you can see uh, this kind of motion blur might get fixed but you know if you have a lot of motion blur like this that's not gonna be so easy to blend all right so let's come to the point uh, what i'm gonna show today is the manual method to blend edges now that is pretty um time taking process but if nothing is working in your shot this particular method will work for your shot that is guaranteed because this is absolute manual thing and this is the most commonly used method uh, i might say in, in industry uh, which is um, which is the blending now when should be proper okay so for example uh, this is what I have as a footage and you can see there are a lot of lot of motion blur happening see this this kind of motion blur is happening fine so what if uh, somebody says okay let's change the background okay and that is absolutely possible because we can rotate out uh, this particular things we can fix these edges easily but the problem will be this particular motion blur right so what i'm gonna do and what i have done is like uh, i have uh, you know drawn a particular shape you know in, in a particular frame okay you can see uh, there are like two more things like one is here another is here so i'm i'll be very much specific to the put uh, to the frame i'm not going to show the whole range of frame because you know it's going to be a little short tutorial as i told okay so 
basically what i'm going to do let's just say okay let's uh, fix this particular thing here because it's it doesn't have you know that much of motion blur but it does have the motion blur okay so what i'm going to do is basically uh, i'm going to take this particular roto here okay uh i'm going to put it off for now you know, so that you can easily uh see that okay uh let's say um i'll get in so the basic thing or the basic fundamental is to just cut off this thing okay so i'm going to get in which is you know uh, the b will be here and the a will be here so basically uh, you can use mask as well so the connection will be opposite so this is what you will be getting right okay so uh, i'm going to take another you know dot node to just get uh, the the actual one okay so i'm going to get this one here right now just to show you fine so this is what i'm getting okay so the first thing you need to do is like let's say auto alpha on that will be fixed okay so um that's the first thing that you're going to do okay and the next one i'm going to do is like get this in copy paste and do the same i'll just put this a and put this one to b so this little thing will you know save your um life okay so what i'm going to do is basically i'm just taking the roto and i'm masking it out and again i'm just taking this particular roto and masking it out okay why so what we uh do here like from this uh, uh in with this in so basically in between these two ends so whatever we will do uh it will uh cut off by this mask again okay so let me show you the uh, the one more thing is like you can see this is the motion blur here okay if if you don't see the motion blur please you know uh put it down put the exposure down here okay the gain down here so you will see why exactly it does exist so so this is the end of the motion blur as i can see and this is kind of like a starting thing right so what are you going to do uh, you need to have roto this is the main most important thing uh, it cannot be done with mat uh, that is a little different method because mat does have um, some issues okay so you need to have roto shapes that should be there okay so what we can do we need to feather the thing so uh, i'm going to just select this part okay because uh, here only we are getting motion blur i'm not going to you know going for any other things so i'll just you know get this motion blur and drag it you can just do it for you know uh you can just do it like this also and let's just select everything and press e and you will get this particular thing okay whenever you are having the roto shape uh you might have the deep poly as well if you don't have the deep poly um you know prepared you just go for this particular stuff like you know go for the multi frame and you just switch it on and you know do it for every single frame uh at once and then after you know just go and you know take care of every single frame so basically i'm going to get this one here and this one here as you can see here is the motion blur okay so that's done um basically uh what i have right now is this right i do have the motion blur as well yeah you can just you know take this one out a little bit more okay let me just get this one here fine so this is what i am getting now uh let's suppose uh, i do have this background here okay let's say i'm going to have this here let's say a this one will be a and this one will be b because you know uh the background should be there otherwise you won't get that thing so right now you can see this is not matching not 
getting the motion blur perfectly blended right so what we can do we do have options for colors mirror and all i don't know i do have that or not um, i think i don't have jack uv and all fine so uh, but what is the manual process is to get paint okay just get the roto paint node just put it in between here uh, so what i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna get the smear um, option and i'm gonna put the effect around like 12 to 15 so it gets the color properly and uh, the hardness is fine for now i might go for like a little bit more opacity is fine it's like to be one okay so what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna uh, select this one as a main footage which is one i'm gonna select the output footage as a three and i'm gonna select uh, two for this particular paint now what need to be there basically you can see if this is a black color so it also get the black here okay uh, or the shade of this black right because it's a semi transparency so it's semi transparent pixel so basically it need to be you know a little you know transparent and if you are having this color and it's also carries that same color right you can see here as well so basically what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mimic this particular color to the edge of this um motion blur right how it's pretty simple i'm gonna go for this smear tool and just take this edge color okay and drag it like this right make sure you are dragging towards the motion blur because um, the direction is is really needful okay it is pretty necessary to get the direction proper otherwise it doesn't match uh, the the you know motion or the direction of that particular stuff so you are getting this color i'm going to get this color to be smeared out and this color to be smeared out doesn't matter how it's going okay uh, just make sure you are you know putting it in a proper direction right and one more thing you just go to alpha and just make sure uh, nothing is transparent or semi transparent here okay if you just put it down now you can see this is you know a lot of semi transparency is going on so it might be your issue in future so basically what i'm gonna do I'm gonna make sure that it is not at all a semi-transparent okay so I'm gonna get smear this thing okay fine and I'm gonna smear this particular color out of that okay as you can see whatever color you are having you just smear it like that fine so let's get the actual you know the output here as you can see it is pretty much matching now just switch off this paint node and you can easily find out what's going on so you can see that if i just disable and enable this particular paint node uh, you can find out the exact thing exact motion blur and it's been blended properly with the um, with the background right so that's the manual process that we go for every time uh, we find difficulties to blend the edges uh, uh, one more stuff that you might go for like you know uh, not might go for that is a necessary uh, thing that is you just copy this particular one and uh, you know that that should be the last process uh, of this particular method is to get another in and just need to put that back with this scan and make sure there is no deep poly available so just make sure uh, you turn on this um, you know multi-frame option on if you have you know roto properly for me uh, this is a one single frame so i'm just gonna put it off 
and just get a merge okay i'm just uh, revealing the stuff uh, and just take erode you can take erode first erode filter as well doesn't matter because i need to have blur as well so i'm gonna in this case i'm gonna take this you know dialect or the erode and i'm gonna erode those pixels inside and you can see what exactly i'm talking about here okay and i'm gonna get edge blur okay and just put it on and i'll just blur it a little bit so basically what i got is you know the extra pixels that is not there okay you know if if anything happens inside of this hand that gonna be revealed up okay so i'm gonna put it back a little bit down okay so now you can see it's perfectly done yeah one more stuff if you find uh, something wrong with the direction you just go back and you know check the actual deep poly is it okay or not so i'm gonna put it back here a little bit okay and i'm gonna put it here because the motion is upward so i'm gonna put this way okay and now if you go back to this final one you can see it's gonna take a little bit time to calculate and as you can see that the motion is perfectly matched okay so this is the process that we go for yeah one more stuff you know if sometimes you if you find some sort of you know hard edge here and uh, you are not having the hard edge after painting all this stuff so basically one thing you can do which is like take a uh, edge blur okay uh, if actually if you are having finding you know the uh, the edge is too hard uh, so at that case uh, you can just use a little bit of you know edge blur here okay or in certain cases uh, we also um, use edge blur and multiply um, here to just blend so basically if i just take a multiply okay so just take multiply here okay i'm gonna put it back somewhere here and i'm gonna put this multiply so i can just you know you can give it back like you know how hard you want to have and all okay so that is how we can blend if you want to and make sure uh, the hard edge is proper that is necessary okay so hard edge should be proper and then go for the deep poly stuff okay so i think you find this tutorial pretty helpful and please um, do some work with this particular method i hope you will like it and uh, every single footage um will support this particular you know method because this is absolutely manual method and this is the only way to get uh, edges blended uh, when nothing is like every single method is failed so this is the only thing that will work and that will help you out to get rid of those edges kind of stuff okay uh, so thanks for watching i hope uh you learn something new and please do subscribe channel please like share and comment and ask me whatever you want okay so for that time take care bye bye